Okay, so the other day when I start up Ginny, um, she makes a big rumbling sound like the car is going to stall. And the engine light came on. So I pulled the code, it's P0441. And doing more research, it turns out that the code is signals that the car's EVAP system is experiencing an incorrect purge flow. And that's the, that can only mean one thing, that's the perch solenoid I'm pointing at right here. So here I left a link below from A-Auto, what the EVAP uh, system does and the perch solenoid, what it does. So take a look at that. Hopefully that can explain better than I can. I will leave the link below so you can check them out. And today I'm just going to replace the perch solenoid. This thing, I got it from Amazon. This piece right here. Uh, about $18. I look at Advanced Auto. They don't have the OEM part. And this one does. And uh, got from Amazon straight from yeah, Honda and Kia. So, so I have to replace this. Hopefully, uh... You know, it doesn't do that anymore. So, easy fix. All I need to take is uh, this off, that off, and then take this off and then push everything in. Okay. Okay. Why? Huh? Are you sad? Yeah. Why are you sad? Nobody don't want to play with me. Nobody want to play with you? Yeah. I want to play with you. And are you doing? Yeah. I'm fixing the car. Huh? Nobody is me. I play with you. Okay, what is this thing that? Yeah, I'm fixing this. Okay. Alright, so I think I just broke this blue tab. Um, what it is, is you're supposed to slide this thing over this way before you can press this down to release this so I broke it so now I have to use this flat and go over here and then push it out this way all right so that's how you get this thing so let me uh, try it again okay so yeah so that should have been there it is And goes out the old one and go in the new one. What? Huh? So once it clicks, then that should be good. And then push this blue thing back in. Yeah. Well, it's broken, but it'll stay. Yes. Right yeah. Okay. That looks good. All right. Now, time to put this one back. I can say after fixing, uh, replacing this perch solenoid, uh, I don't hear that um, rumbling sound anymore. So, 
I think I fixed the issue here. 